Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius, and welcome. We're going to do a general read for you guys today. Looking at your current energy, your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. Once we've done that, we'll clarify all of those cards, get a better story of what's going on, and then we'll pull three more cards at the end of it all, just to make sure we have all the information that you may require for this week. So Aquarius, let's do that one again. Let's get started and see where your current energies are. Huh. Current energy, King of Swords. Your energy, like it. Standing in your own power. Desire, Two of Swords. Hmm. Maybe for some of you this is solving a problem or making a choice. The outcome is the devil. Uh, that one I'm going to clarify, but what's working for you is uh, the battle is kind of over and you're able to rest. What you need to be aware of, Eight of Cups. So, possibly leaving something that's not serving you anymore, headed to something better. <clears throat> so, King of Swords. Well, Three of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. What this feels like is, um, it feels like a relationship uh, that you're really clear about. And you see that things are working with this Queen of Wands person. Somebody that is energetic, very sort of outgoing. <clears throat> and yeah, whatever's going on here, you guys are feeling like things are good. Two of Swords. Ah, okay. Two of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and Justice. This is really interesting because the Two of Swords is kind of like stuck in a bit of a stalemate. Like, what do I do here? Uh, and it's like you've got... It's almost like you don't want to make a decision because there's so many opportunities and you're afraid to lose out. So this is um, this is in the desire section, which is really, really interesting. Or maybe you're looking that you could become kind of two of swords and the justice. To me, is both about balance um, <clears throat> and figuring things out. Just being able to balance out, figure out what is the best direction for you to go in with all of this. And then we have the devil in the outcome. The devil in the outcome is clarified by Knight of Cups, the Sun card, and the Page of Swords. And it's like down here you see that right now you're in this partnership and yeah, it's really good, but you don't really know kind of how you want to take this and it's going to balance out. But it's almost like someone else in the outcome is pulling the strings around this romance, which is fine for now. And then we have the Page of Swords, which, you know, this has to be sort of dealt with in a way that is sort of fair for both both people. And maybe that's in your desire with this justice card here is that this <clears throat> new opportunity, maybe it's just not fair. And you're hoping that this is going to balance out. Um, and then I kind of look at this and it's, it's kind of like with the devil card and the outcome, it may take some time in order to balance out as somebody comes forward with some type of love offer, uh, but that could be delayed as this goes through sort of its toxic moments where boundaries need to be put down. Uh, but what's working for you is the Four of Swords. And underneath the Four of Swords, we have the Six of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. This seems to be about... Um, you've really moved up. 
it seems like you've put the work in, you've moved up, you've taken action. Um, it's been sort of um, sort of it's been a tough go, but the result underneath all of this is the King of Pentacles, which is a very solid uh, type of energy that you've managed to create for yourself. Which then brings us over to this Eight of Cups. This Eight of Cups talks about leaving something behind. Wow. Seven of, wands, seven of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor. This seems like what's left behind was something that you were fighting for. A new beginning. Um. And you've, you, you're leaving behind sort of the, this fight to take on a new beginning. And you're ambitiously going going towards that. So you need to be aware that, you know, there is new beginnings out there. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Like, super duper. And the Ace of Swords. So we've had three out of the four Aces uh, show up for you. If we see the fourth, I would be surprised. Um, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Page of Wands. In the final cards, there's been a lot that you've been through. You've been through, uh, with this Ten of Wands here, it's been like struggle after struggle to maintain your footing. And things have just finally either fallen down and fallen apart, or, you know, things have finally just ended but there is good news coming with this page of wands so whatever you've been through it looks like ten of wands ten of swords it's been like you've been through the ringer but there is fresh starts coming in with this ace of pentacles ace of wands and then we have the page of wands bringing that in as well um yeah this is kind of interesting aquarius that's what i have for you today best of luck with this week and we will talk to you next time